Vicki here and today I'm going to show you how I can beans with the no soak method with tattler lids. So come on, I'll show you what I got going on. I got my seven jars, I got my rings, my lid, uh, yeah, and I got my tattler lids, my jiggler for my thing over there, my canner over there, my canning supplies, my jar lifter, my debubbler and measurer, my funnel, my measuring cup, my already washed beans, and sort it through. And now I'm going to show you how I put it all together. Okay, so for doing the no-soak beans, it's one cup of beans to a quart jar. people add a teaspoon of salt but I don't do the salt because I have to limit my salt intake because I'm getting old now with the toddler lids you have to put in anywhere between a quarter inch and a half inch less liquid than what you would normally do with the regular ball lids so Gonna measure this. So it's a little under an inch, and that's how I'm gonna do them because this is one inch. Yep, that's about an inch and a quarter. So that's how I'm gonna do them. And I'll bring you back when I got the water in all the jars. So my next step is to put my tattler lids and my gaskets. in hot water to simmer for a few minutes while I come over here and be debubble everything. While they're heating up, I'm going to debubble everything. Get all the air bubbles out. piece of bean skin. Bubble everybody. Okay. While I'm at it, I've got vinegar on my cloth. 
off to get all the rims cleaned. Bringing the lids over. And I'm going to take the ring on the lid and then you put it on the jar now here's the important bit so you know how tight to put the jar on put, and if it starts to turn you're done I'll do another one The lid on there. Set the gasket right in there. Center it. This one is not going on. Try another lid. something wrong with this jar. Now see I'm putting it on and as soon as the jar starts to turn you're done tightening it. Gasket moves, then you gotta recenter everything. I'm gonna try this one again with a different lid. See a little go on it. It has something to do with this. Right. Let me see. There we go. I got it on there. As soon as it As soon as that jar starts to spin, you're done. You don't finger tighten these like you do with the regular ball lids. They go on a little looser because of the plastic and all happening to make sure everything's centered. Get band.
these have to go in simmering water for a couple minutes so that everything can soften up so that it can get a good seal. Then I put them in my canner. <laughs> Got all seven of them in there, along with a splash of vinegar. And with the recommended amount of water for my canner. And I'm gonna put my lid on. Lids on the canner, flames on. I don't know if you can tell with this camera, but I'm gonna bring it up to temperature. It's gotta get up to pressure and then blow steam off for 10 minutes and then I add the jiggler. So I'll bring you back when it's doing that. You can see it's been venting for 10 minutes, putting the jiggler on. For my altitude, it's recommended at 15 pounds of pressure and once it starts jiggling, then I'll adjust the temperature for the sweet spot. And then it just goes for 90 minutes. So I'll show you what I do when the 90 minutes is up. Okay, so there's my sweet spot. And I'm going to let it run for 90 minutes now. All right, I'll bring you back when it's time to take them out. Hello. The pressure has finally come down. Always open a canner away from you. We had one pop off in here. That's okay. Now with these, you have to tighten the lid down. Nice and tight. Happy 4th of July, everyone. Hi, Dusty. Woo. Really. We had one break, one the bottom broke, and the other one the lid came off. Now I'm going to Just put the lid on it for now to keep animals out of it. This one's not going to be safe to eat, though. That one's going to get thrown away because for all I know, there could be glass in it. So we're not going to eat it. But, yeah, as soon as you take them out, you crank the lids down real hard on them, as tight as you can get them, and let them sit for 12 to 24 hours. Then take the rings off. And if you lift the jar, after you take the ring off, if you lift the jar up and the lid stays on, it's sealed. And that's how you do it. So, 
Never be afraid to live your dream because it can happen. Have a great day. Blessings.